This is page one of the form 1040 where the Schedule C eventually flows into line number eight. Additional income from Schedule 1, line 10. This is the Schedule 1, additional income and adjustments to income, part one, where the Schedule C eventually rolls into line three, business income or loss from the Schedule C. And here's the Schedule C profit or loss from business, which has an income statement format income minus expenses resulting in in essence net income okay how do i pay income taxes obviously you grit your teeth you scream and get angry as you write the check or make the electronic transfer followed by a strong drink but uh also federal income tax is a pay-as-you-go tax you must pay it as you earn or receive income during the year now, this is similar, of course, if we have the W-2 employee, although once again, as employees, we often don't really think about how the system is processed because it's basically put on the employer to do most of the work, to make the withholdings, in other words, and pay it to the government on our behalf and then do the reporting on the W-2 both to us and to the IRS. The argument from the IRS's perspective as to why the employer is making those withholdings is to make it easy on us. But obviously that's bull something. That's not that because they want their money sooner and they want it to be withheld by the person they have leverage on, which is of course the employer. So the idea there is as we earn the money, the IRS wants the money as we earn it. The same thing is going to happen when we have a Schedule C business. We might say, hey, look, I'm just going to wait until I file my taxes for tax year 2023. That's going to happen by April 15th, 2024. And then I'll just pay all my taxes at that point in time. Won't that be okay with the IRS? No, it won't. They're going to hit you with penalties and interest, the sticks that they wield at you. If you do that, why? Because they want to get paid as you earn the money. So during the year, Next question will be, well, how am I going to do that? I don't know how much money I'm going to earn because it's a new business and I'm going to have to do the bookkeeping and then figure out my income statement before I have any idea how much I actually earned. And even if I did know how much I earned, it's going to be difficult for me to estimate my taxes because I have to basically estimate my yearly earning in order to calculate the taxes. In other words, if you're a W-2 employee, you don't calculate your estimated payments by what you made every week or every other week because we don't have a flat tax system. You can't just say, well, I made $500, so I'm going to pay like 10% of that because your tax rate might be higher or, or lower possibly than 10%, right? What we have to do is annualize your taxes and say, well, you, you're going to make 100000 in the year. 